Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's question is determine the type of the inheritance pattern shown in the pedigree below and just looking at this pedigree I can say instantly that this is x link recessive genetic disorder. How do I know? Take a look. If we assume that this male has defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome, so he would be affected even though this is recessive genetic disorder because uh, males has only one X chromosome and in males this recessive genetic disorder would manifest itself as dominant. But what about this female? Her genotype can be two normal X chromosomes. And as you see, in the following generation, none of the children have this genetic disorder, but in next generation, we see that 50% of the males has this genetic disorder. How this possible? Take a look. So here is a genotype of the male number one. So defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And here on the side, genotype of the female number two. And let's build simple Punnett square. And let's take a look what's going to happen to their children. So normal X chromosome from the mother side, defective X chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, and defective X chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, and normal Y chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side. Of course, as you see, all males show normal phenotype and all females also going to show normal phenotype because this is X-link recessive genetic disorder and they have one normal X chromosome which is dominant, so the phenotype is normal. Those, they are going to be carriers. So all females are going to be obligate carriers. So the genotype is going to be defective X chromosome that they inherit from the father side and normal X chromosome which they got from the mother side. And as for the males here, again, they got Y chromosome from their father side and normal X chromosome from their mother side. So that's why in this generation all are going to show normal phenotype, all children. But what about this generation? Again, as you see, half of the males, so three out of six males show this genetic disorder. How this happened? Take a look genotype of this male number six we assume have to be normal because this male show normal phenotype and if he would have defective X chromosome his genotype is going to be abnormal he would be affected so let's build another Punnett square so this time genotype of the male normal X normal Y and genotype of the female is defective X and normal X chromosome. Again, we build simple Punnett square, two by two, and let's take at the distribution of the genotypes and phenotypes among their children, defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side, normal X chromosome inherited from the father side, normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side, and father side, defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side, and normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side, normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side, and normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side. Again, all the female children in this couple are going to be phenotypically normal. So you see all girls here are phenotypically normal. Those 50% of them are going to be carers. And 50% of the male progeny are going to manifest this genetic disorder and 50% would be phenotypically normal. And this is exactly what we see here. Out of six male children, we see that one, two, three doesn't have this genetic disorder and one, two, three 
has this genetic disorder, so distribution or proportion one to one. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.